All right. Uh, what we're going to talk about now is web parts and app parts. You've just read through the article, and I hope you're not too confused. It's somewhat of a complicated concept on what the two the two things are, but I'm going to do my best to kind of break them down for you. So the first thing we talked about was web parts. Um, they're both very similar. They both display information on a page, um, but the differences are web parts allow you to display data from other sources like list data, search results, forms, and even another web page on, on the page itself. And then app parts allow you to insert app content from the site onto the page. So let me see if I can explain that to you in um, an, an easier way. So I'm going to go to my edit link here and edit the page. I can also go to my, my page context menu and do edit. And you'll see I have a couple of columns here. And so we've all seen my grocery list and my document library. So I'm, what I'm going to do is put those on the page right now. So I'm going to go to my context menu and go to insert and click on app part. And you'll see over here documents. That's my document library and grocery list. Well, I want to put my grocery list here. So I'll click here. I'll select grocery list and I'll add it. It's going to load and then there's my grocery list. That's an app part. And if I wanted to go ahead and I'll go ahead and put my my documents below that. So there you go. So those are app parts. App parts are any apps that you create on SharePoint and then put information into. App parts deal directly with those. Web parts are different. And here's an example. Uh, you know how I said on the site that you could put things like, uh, like they can open another web page on the site. So if I go to web part and I scroll down to, I think it's media and content. Yep, here it is. And I go to my page viewer. There's a ton of stuff in here. Feel free to look around and put stuff on the page and see what you can mess with and see what you can get into. Um, we might go a little further into that later on and I might update the lessons, but for now here, I'm just going to put a page viewer web part on the page. And so here's my page viewer and you can see that whenever it inserts it and I save it, you can see that it doesn't have any content in it. And so that's, uh, this is the thing I like to compare them to app parts are like windows. So this is a window to my content already on the site okay specifically apps like my document library my grocery list web parts are tools and let me just let me just do this and maybe it'll help explain it maybe not but if I go in and edit the web part and I can do that on any of these it's gonna say specify a link do I want to open a web page a folder a file I'm gonna put google.com right there on the page and I'm just going to click apply and click OK. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Oh goodness. <laughs> it didn't work. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to edit this again and I'm going to put HTTPS. It's probably a better way to do it. Apply. OK. So it's saying it can't be displayed in a frame. Oh, I really should plan these examples out better. But you can see that it's a page viewer and it's viewing another web page. If I click on open this content in a new window, it'll take me to Google. <laughs> so you can open another web page in a frame. Actually, let's do this. <laughs> Let me put in my simplified SharePoint.com site. P L I F I V SharePoint. And I'll take out the HTTPS and let's just see what happens. I'm getting a mixed content warning, but that's okay. I'll click OK, save the page, retry. Maybe <laughs> it's not going to let me display that either. This is a bad example, but web parts let you display information and data. App parts let you display information from, from apps that you've created on your site. That's the best way I know of to explain it right now. Don't get caught up into what's it called, what's it called, I don't know. Uh, is that the right way? To, is that the right phrasing? Is that the right term? Don't worry about that because here's the other confusing thing is if I go into the menu on these app parts, <laughs> the menu says edit web part. So they're like I said, they're very similar and they're easily confused. Just remember if you want to insert something on a page that you've already created, 
you want to use an app part. So if you create a, a image library and you want to show it on the home page, insert the app part for your image library. So I hope that was a little bit more clear than the article, but that's pretty much all I have for you. Um, be sure to check out the next lesson and have a good one.